quick break. I just want to say thank you for all the people around the world, Jamaica, Germany, um, Asia, Europe, South America. Thank you for listening to Leap of Hell. Thank you for the support. And remember, my book is out. You can find it on Barnes and Nobles and Amazon. It's called Parents Are Greatest Teachers. Thank you again for all the support. And now, back to our episode. Hello, everyone. This is your host, Alex Valgood, and this is Leap of Hell. And today, I'm super, super excited. I have Max Rojas with us. Uh, he's part of our 10 part series, Healing Through Cultivating Art. He's a creator, he's a musician, um, dancer, everything creator. And of course, he does have a civilian job called accountant, accountant, <laughs> which is also amazing too. And, uh, and uh, it's just so funny, Max, that I've been talking to all these different artists, right? And I always said the bad joke about the accountant. Because I'm like, yeah, you know, you have this person and it's like, I'm an accountant. Let me be with my numbers. I don't want to dance. So we have an accountant today. So I'm like super, super excited. This is great. <laughs> well, hey, I, I'm glad that that brings you joy. That's amazing. You know, I never uh, think that my, my job as an accountant is going to bring anybody joy. But hey, more power to it. I love it. I love it. And for a private family, too. <laughs> yes, exactly. So that's awesome. Thank you for being here today. Uh, before we start, tell us a little bit about your journey and uh, how you became to be a musician and DJ and creating all these tunes. Well, it's been a, a long journey and I, I will say it's a never ending journey. And it all starts with, uh, if I trace back, like where, where did I, where did my love for music really start? I would say that it started in in my mom's womb, you know, because my dad was a rock and roll star. Well, he wanted to be one and they play in a band, you know, and and so I've always been surrounded with good music, Beatles, but in, in, in Espanol, you know, because in Chile it would be like in Spanish lyrics, you know, but it's the Beatles. Yeah. So everything that I heard in Chile was music wise was well, translated into Spanish, you know, it's a young boy and I've always loved music. I always, always loved music. And I I've always known that I wanted to do something in music, but I never, never really nailed it until now in my older age of 48, let me tell you. And uh, it's been a really interesting journey because I should have been more involved in music in my early life, you know, but I think I was too busy just enjoying life at a younger age, living life as a free spirit, you know, and learning about our culture, the underground electronic dance music movement, you know. That's where I reside as an artist. That's the kind of music I'm interested in. And I just, I love underground house music and like really good fine tuned music. So I decided that I needed to take this journey and it was just a waste of time not doing it. And I felt that it all started first with obviously collecting vinyl records just because I wanted to have those records, not because I wanted to be a DJ. You know, when you when I started as a DJ, it, it was never that, you know, it's different for me. It was like, I was just want to have a crate of those records because I want to hear those records from A to Z. You know what I mean? Like not cut them up and forward and like Rondi Core style, you know? Mm -hmm. So that's where I found my 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 love for music. Like, okay, now I got to develop this passion, you know, and just little by little, like piece by piece, you know, um, you start saving for that or for this and and you, I started buying equipment and next thing you know, like 20 years later after I started DJing, now I have a full, full blown studio in my house, you know, I'm creating music and it just feels really amazing that I'm in the right place now and the right time in my personal universe. Like I'm finally as an artist creating and releasing music under Maximus Carnivorous. You can find me on Beatport, iTunes, all streaming services. And um, it feels good to have material out there that now it's my, those are my babies, you know, and each song gets better now because it's the quality and of how much you put into it, you know, and before I wasn't putting that much into it. So I'm an artist that have been really struggling, developing, learning and clearing my head and now really creating. <laughs> 
that's the the development of my personal career and it's been great it's been a nice journey i have no regrets no regrets <clears throat> the bad the good excuse me the bad the good all of it i take it all all deep with me you know as an artist every, you should too every, every artist should now appreciate the sadness the happiness the angerness and learn from every single one of those things that's my that's what i say to the people mm -hmm. you know like as an artist you should always be learning creating learning and just focusing and every day doing that and just repeat 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 until you have a beautiful product that you can release to the world that's going to be here to stay you know i think that's why really that's my drive right now is that i want to create a, a nice catalog for myself i'm not trying to make money from it you know that's the last thought on it <laughs> this costs a lot of money i'm not trying to make any money think about that how crazy is that huh is that because this is just self joy you know it's like it's pure it's something when you're creating music and you're in this zone and this flow and mm -hmm. you're just listening and taking it in for wherever wherever it's coming from and you know i'm not a pianist but i know my way around i've taken piano classes i've definitely taken music theory in college i went to rancho santiago college i took a lot of classes in rancho santiago college i took business classes i started with business then I moved on to accounting classes and then I moved on to production classes and music theory. That was literally my college experience. Nice, nice. You know? And, yeah, for sure. And I love that you tell us, you know, the, the your journey within the music. How do you think um, has art just in general, because I know you being uh, not only the producer, not only the creator but also in the other side as receiving all these amazing art and music from all these other musicians and djs and artists around the world how does all this art has changed you to who you are now well to, for starters um it's kept me out of trouble you know it's very easy for myself, you know, where I come from, it would have been a lot easier for me to go into the dark side of the force instead of the Jedi side of the force, you know, which is where I'm at now. And it's, it's, it's just, I feel that it's kept me out of trouble. It's kept me locked into uh, a place of focus, you know? I, I just feel like it's, it's, it's there you know you just have to embrace it we all are born with god in us right we're part of it you know and my i mean i don't i do believe that some signals are coming from the ethos right like if i'm sitting here and i'm just pressing keys but then i hear a chord that's the, that's beautiful that moment right there that's the one i want to keep duplicating and staying in that moment so to me art very important and crucial for 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 any human's life you know i feel that like when people get stuck in their jobs this this is what i hear a lot is that they don't find happiness because but then i i ask the questions what are your hobbies you know because hobbies is not the word hobby it just means you're pursuing your love and a passion for something whatever that is that's art and mm -hmm. people tend to shut the door on that. And I think that as a society today, we have less art that's more pronounced, but it's more computerized than, than it's here and, you know, and the reality of things, you know, it's now we're living in inside the computers, you know, and so it's, it's a different type of art, you know, it's much more modern, but I think that people lock the door on that part of their lives. And I think our society is missing a huge chunk from it. And I feel that if we need to not just push young kids, you know, to be art, like follow, pursue your, your passion, you know, do you cook? Do you want to grow a flower? Do you want to art? Do you want to draw? Do you want to make music? Like, I think that that needs to be pushed a little bit more at an earlier age than all these other things that we're pushing into young kids. And I don't get involved with those things, but <laughs> art, for me has been very, very important. And it's helped me stay in a straight line in life and, and be a good human being, believe it or not. Because mm -hmm. 
if you're not a good human being and you have negative energy on you, you're not creating. You're mm -hmm. feeding the other part of the ethos, you know, the negative force. Because there are two forces that we're always constantly fighting, you know. You got the bad, you got the good stuff, you know. We breathe it, actually. We breathe the good stuff. We exhale the BS, right? I mean, that's life. But we are blocked. We have jobs. Society is being put away, like, with a key lock. There's no... Where are the vanguards of today's, you know? Where are the Van Goghs of today's, you know? Where are those folks? Where are the people that, are, you know, where are the big names, you know? Now it's like, just like I said, back to NFTs, where we are digitizing ourselves. Mm -hmm. And in that sense, that's art too. Yeah. But it's a crazy far out type of art, you know? Yeah, I definitely, uh, I agree with you. Art has become a lot of... Uh you know, with this technology, NFTs, the pricing that they're giving for. But I think just going back to basics, the I base. think cultivating art within younger kids, as you were mentioning, I think it is crucial for their development. And I think we tend to forget, uh, just like, you know, when we see school, the, the, um, the, the thing that we give the most value is art, you know. The class that we give the most, the, the less value is always art. And if they're yeah, going to yeah, cut yeah. a class, they're going to cut art. They will never cut math or science, right? Because they, we give you a lot more value to that. But it's like art is as valuable as math and science and all that. And I think that's we, we've been losing the, the value and what art really does to younger minds, to just people in general. And um, yeah, I, I think it sucks a little bit that we are forgetting about it. And I hope with this, you know, with all of the guests that I've brought uh, in this 10 part series, people get to think about the importance and in everyone's lives, whether you're a kid or not, it gives you a time to create. It makes your your critical thinking, your mind, your creativity no, 100%. go in such a different way. But you have to do it right it's not something that cultivating you art and, to do it you have to put the time i know one of our guests said art is self-care and i was yeah. like blown by it i was like yes yeah i mean it That's, really is yeah it really is because you gotta pursue whatever that love is that passion is you know at the end of the because if you shut that door inside of your chest now you're bitter now you're angry you're dealing with i can't do this i don't have the time for this ah now you have that and that is this side that what you want to keep away you know yeah you want to keep it a low uh, you know a bay you know you don't you don't want to necessarily want to have that negative voice go away completely because can also be voice of reasoning at times you know yeah. you gotta have a balance i believe in balance you know arts balance too and i think that you need to take yourself like if you're about it like i make myself okay six o'clock hits now instead of beer i come into the studio boom 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 I lay it out if it sounds good bam i got a song now i got a month's worth to work on that song prepare it each week something happens to the song it literally i don't release stuff until i feel that it's good and so some people want to release things right away i'm like i'm literally just setting right now i'm sitting on like three songs that I just, I still have to do things to it. I don't feel it's complete, but they're almost there where like the temptation of releasing it starts like creeping up, you know, but <laughs> it's patience, it's nurturing. It's like a plant. It's like you feed your art with the time that you dedicate. And that is, that is the sacred hour. Like call it, like people say, I can't exercise. I don't have the time. Well, it takes 15 minutes to just walk around the block two times and you're done and your blood is pumping. You're feeling good, but you made the time for yourself. So again, self-care is actually true because self-care is about dedicating this time for myself, whether that is meditating and peace, clearing your thoughts, whether that's making music, running, you know, drawing. What happens with artists is <clears throat> they say there's a thing that they say you're born with it 
I don't believe in that. You know what I believe in? I believe that hard work, dedication is what gets you there. And repeating the same thing over and over and over and over until you have perfection. Practice, what you yeah. believe in. So I don't believe that you're born with it. That's ridiculous. You might be a little more advanced than others. You might have that because I've seen it. I've seen it with my friend Idom from CBS. He was very young. He showed me his drawings when he was very young. These things look like they were out of cartoons. Like, whoa. And he was a little kid. So he was definitely had a gift. But that gift can be nurtured with like a plant. You put water, it grows. Boom, mm -hmm. you got a flower. That's what art is, you know? You have yeah. to nurture that. It's not a hobby, you know? It's like um, it's like a way of living, you know? A it's like you have to be about it, you know? Not preach about it, be about it. And that involves a lot of work, so, uh, a lot of not going out. <laughs> it involves a lot of focus. It involves a lot of listening for my, my for me as an artist, you know. So I have to constantly be listening to things, you know. And that's it gets exhausting too. I'm in bed by nine o'clock these days, mm -hmm. <laughs> you know. Take because, care of yourself. Self care. Because now I'm creating. I'm putting energy into something, and that's now sitting there for me to work on it the next day and the next day. But people don't have that, you know, some people have their doors are locked. Once you're locked into a job that you don't care, then it's like downhill from there. You don't know how to find your way. I've seen this, you know, it's very crucial and important that you find that time as an artist that you that you dedicate, that you figure it out what that is. I don't have any hobbies. I don't believe you. If somebody says that, I'll say I don't believe you. Yeah, you don't like nothing. Yeah, I mean, exactly. you must like something in the world. Come on now. Yeah. We have so that's many what a things. hobby is something you 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 want to do on the, oh I, I love that you shoot guns then go shoot be the best go shoot guns be the best you know responsibly for sure <laughs> but yeah at a gun range of course yeah yeah not in the wild woods <laughs> yeah or anywhere else <laughs> or anywhere else for that matter huh <laughs> but yeah it's so true what you're saying you know there are so many things that we could be doing, that we could be cultivating whatever art it's in our hearts, whether it's gardening, whether, it, whether it's making music, playing an instrument, learning how to do uh, sewing, um, I don't know, yeah. cooking, you know, all these little things that, that we do as an art form, there's just ways to create and to express things that, that we're going through life on you know on each of us so it's gonna show and it's gonna look in different ways but yeah I feel like you're totally right making and you don't have to be a professional we're talking about cultivating art within just all of us because that's what makes us and I'm gonna quote again my friend uh Lisa Manchur she's a graphic designer she said to me art changes in a very special way but you would not know that special weight or how art is changing you if you don't even try it. if you don't yeah, even how do you know make that time how will you know how special that will be that moment that situation your life if we don't even try so you don't have as, as i said you don't have to be a professional you know you don't have to commit to do this every day uh to be a musician i mean if you if that's what you want by all means but we're talking about doing all these changes and creating some sort of art whatever it is that you like to become a better teacher a better dad a better mom a better employer right, employee right. whatever it is it's just gonna make you a better human being as max said earlier if you're happy you're a better human being yes that's really mm -hmm. the key. If, when we are happy, we express things better. When we have gratitude, we appreciate things more. When we see things differently, we're able to be more like wide with our hearts instead of so like, ah, about me, all about, you know? So I think that, again, a big part, and you see it, it's cut from the budgets. It's all cut from the budgets, the arts. And that's really a sad thing, but we as individuals are in a place now more than ever that we can do whatever we want i mean yeah. what i mean by that is look at this we are 
streaming from one city to another city. We're doing it in real time. That to me is amazing. Like I've seen people create mix like vinyl on Zoom and awesome. they've done it and it's art right there being generated through uh, the technology of today's. So now we have to learn how to incorporate those things and make it work for us, you know? And not everything has to be technology. There's art forms and any, anything. It's just, you gotta find that as a, as a person, you know? You gotta find what your like, your dislikes are, what you love, what you don't love. <clears throat> Once you know these things, life becomes much easier. <clears throat> you can go through life figuring it out much quicker, you know? God, it took me forever to figure that out. If I would have figured out those little tiny things earlier, oh man, I would have been a, a quick, a, an artist much faster than where I am today. So now that I'm older, now I'm like, oh man, I wasted so much time. But I didn't, right? Because that's what life is throwing at you. So you it's your learning curve. Yeah. You're going to get to that place or you're going to go to the other place. But it's how you manage yourself. You know, you got to say, okay, well, I'm going to do this. I'm gonna really do this. So I, I set myself a schedule. Like I make sure that I'm following my my schedule. Like I, for example, I work from home. I'm not being managed by anybody, but mm -hmm. I get my work done and my work speaks for itself. In fact, I'm very proud to say I just got a raise Woo! because in my first year in, but it's because I, I make sure that I am doing the things I'm supposed to be doing. You know, I'm being responsible with my time. And that works for me, you know, not everyone's like that, but, but if you create a schedule on the things you gotta do, okay, I gotta get my time in today. I got, I gotta do this meditation today. I don't care. I gotta sit in and do that yoga stretch. I'm going to do it and you, mm -hmm. you're going to figure it out and you're going to squeeze the time to do it. And anybody yeah. can do it. You can find the time. When I hear people say they don't have time, I'm like, when you die, you don't have time. Yeah. Right now, you got plenty of time. Then don't sleep. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, for sure. And you know what? I always say this too. We scroll in our phones on social media for oh, yeah. at least 20 minutes. Oh, more than that. And some. No, but that's like the average, right? Like yeah. the minimum. Oh, yeah, yeah. One sitting. I'm not You're saying throughout nice. the whole day. I'm You're saying this kind. is. <laughs> yeah, exactly. On one minutes? sitting. <laughs> So imagine if you're like, you know what, just today, maybe every Wednesday, you know, every day I'm going to look at my social media, but maybe on Wednesday, I'm going to use those 30 minutes that otherwise I would have been looking at my social media, right. 30 minutes, I'm going to be looking at a YouTube video and I'm going to see how, you know, how to play the guitar or maybe how That's to make right this there. little cat drawing that I always wanted to do or I'm gonna read two pages of this book that I've been having on my bookshelf for 10 years and That's I've it. never opened isn't it that amazing it, like That's you don't really have to make a crazy changes on your schedule you it could be those those extra 20 minutes <laughs> a little, a very little. little and the thing is like the more you get excited about something that you're creating about a book that you're reading, about a poem that you're writing, whatever it is that that your creative process, imagination gets to you, um, the more you want to do it. And that's yeah. what we're talking about. You're cultivating this uh, creative process and art within yourself. You're energized. That at the end of the day, it's just going to be so amazing. Yeah, it's about, you know, people say they don't got the time. You can make the time. If you if you find some, you can make time to drink a beer, then you can make time to draw. Yeah. If you can find time to go out with your friends then you can find time to hang out in the home and figure out your hobby, you know, it's just like, <laughs> it's people don't want to do it either though. You know, some people are set in their ways. And once that's happened, it's like, ah, oh, this is the end for me. That's it. This is, this is the way I'm going out. But at the end of the day, that's just, that's misery. Misery loves company. You know, you have to figure out your happiness. Look, I have gone through hell myself personally in my lifetime i've gone through hell i am very lucky to have come out of the other side and a lot of people are not that lucky to come out of the other side and have an open mind and realize okay i i'm good now you know some people again it's because we are not nurturing 
the things that we love that we and some people don't even know what that is because they've never had the experience they're just so busy with life you mm -hmm. know and there's yeah. nothing you can do about it but i think that for the young generation that's coming up now the young kids you know i think that it's very crucial i support them they want to be djs i support them they want to create music I support them. whatever they want to do and like push for that you know like support that you know like the community needs more of that you know in fact i know somebody that i just i, I just did my birthday party at this place with this guy that owns this warehouse that they're trying to do things for the community like dancing like classes and things like that and it's incredible because mm -hmm. art you know they're i'm going to introduce you to uh, this guy his name is cameron and he mm -hmm. does he has a foundation for kids and it's big things and and he he's when i see him he's doing the things that he loves he lives in a warehouse <laughs> you know and he's doing this for the community to me that is that's from the heart you know yeah that's not coming from a bad place it's coming from a place of like i want to influence the next generation to me and what we're talking about right here influencing the next generation you know i think that it's crucial and and, and for myself like whenever i get a chance if somebody has questions, I answer those questions and push them to do things, you know, like, hey, man, why don't you then pursue this? You know, I've, I've said to many friends like, hey, you love you love music. Then why don't you just pursue it? Like play, it, you know, you want to be yeah, a yeah. DJ, then be a DJ. Who cares? Don't listen to anybody. You know, yeah. to me, it's like I, I hear negativity around me, you know, but it's how you take it. Uh, you ever heard like Shh. Like, that's what I do with the negativity that I hear. It's gone, yeah. you know? I don't, it's how you Lights take up, it. yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's how you, what you do with it, like, it's how you feel. It's gone, like, ah, it doesn't matter. I don't care what other people think, believe, or what they want to do. To, it's, what, it's my universe, you know? When you, as an artist, stand as, a, as an artist, it's your universe. Don't, don't be afraid to show your 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 inside as an artist and how do i say this um your soul you know mm -hmm. as a musician i'm freaked out i'm scared okay i don't know what people are gonna post about my songs or how it's gonna be taken <sighs> so for me i realized that it's not gonna be for everyone you know mm -hmm. yeah this art that is... i do it's not yeah. for everyone you know yeah, and i'm art... okay with that Art is so uh, into a perspective, right? It might be beautiful for some people. It might yeah. be not that beautiful for other ones. But that's the, the beauty of it, right? And we're that comes all with different. The territory, you know? We all like different things. And eventually you will like, you, as you were mentioning earlier, you will find what you like and what you don't like. Yes. You know, and that's the thing, like, um, <clears throat> that's the thing, like, somebody can like trance and somebody can like breakbeat. I don't like either, but I respect that, you see? And I'm not gonna go and smear this or smear that. And I you know I live in the I'm an underground guy, you know this. I'm I'm mm -hmm. from the scene, you know, LA scene. <clears throat> so whenever I hear people talk negative about some sort of genre, which I see from time to time on posts and comments, you know, it's ridiculous. I just hold back, but I really just want to tell them, you know what? It's ridiculous that you would think like that because they're all somehow connected to each other. And right. if you're blurring that or this, now you're blurring all of it, really, you know, so there's no point in talking down on that or this or the other, you know, it's just different Just because you don't like something doesn't mean that it's bad for the for the world, you know, <clears throat> there's a group of people that love certain things. So be it, you know, respect that. And that's art. It, it's for not for everyone, but it's for some and some people are going to appreciate it and love it. And then and then you have to be okay with releasing it to the world and and not panic that it's gonna be bad you know it's yeah. gonna be good because you're gonna make it good for a group of people that are gonna appreciate it and what they're trying to say is like don't be fearful of releasing your art to the world because i swear i was i don't care no more what people have to say earmuffs earmuffs i don't care you know because my art's not for everyone and once mm -hmm. you realize that then you can get past and now you can release, release, release without the, what they're going to think. I don't know if I should. What if yeah. it sucks? What if it sucks? Then release it so you can know if it sucks, you know? And that's <laughs> the beauty. That's called growth as an artist, you know? Like, 
and that's where I lived a lot of my life, like in that fear of like, I don't know, it's not gonna be good, you know, mm -hmm. that's not yeah. gonna be good, or like doubting, you know, doubt, a lot of doubt as an artist, and nothing's perfect, it sucks. Everything sucks. <laughs> it's not good what? enough, I tell ya. <laughs> you know what, I think that's all, that's where a lot of us um, are in that state sometimes, when we're like, oh, I don't wanna learn how to dance, I'm afraid. I'm not going to look good. You know, I don't want to write this poem because people are going to think I suck. I'm not a professional. Yeah. I've never done that. So we we come from this state of fear. But yeah. in reality, as you said, you know, no one cares. It's like, take, no get, one cares. Your, yeah, get your out, art out there. Go dance. Yeah. No one is going to dance like you anyways, because there's no one like you. Anyways, so instead of uh, coming from the fear state, just be curious about what can you create and put out in the world. Be exactly. curious about, oh, maybe I could be really good at the tango. Oh, maybe I could be really good at the swing. I don't know, whatever it is that, that you like. I feel like at the end of the day, if you like something and you put the heart into it, it's it, the value is going to be for you and no one else no yeah, one that is I watching agree. no one that is listening no one that is seeing or reading your art or whatever it is right at the end of the day when we create it's for us Personally. us to, to to release and it's kind of like a bonus if you are the best dancer or you you do create amazing music or whatever you're putting out there people likes it then that's kind of like a bonus and, and I think that's um, a better way to see it as it to see it from the, the freer state and inside that we could get yeah, well, our heads into. I mean, look at, uh, I'm going to quote a Star Wars, fear leads to the dark side. Yeah. And unfortunately, and like, it's funny as that <laughs> sounds because it's it comes true. from Star Wars. It's true. Yeah. <clears throat> I'm sorry, but it's true. Yeah. And it, and it's like wow man like Star Wars really like you're gonna yes. you're gonna come at me with that we're a Star like, Wars fan anyways <laughs> it but great. yes at least to the dark side you don't want to go to that side let me tell you yeah. at least you want to be miserable and and not content with your life and just you know it's not a good side to be on you know it's a it's a voice of reasoning in a in a small way you know because like you have to have the balance you know. Mm -hmm. get the balance right you know you have to have a balance for things you know i think that you can't just everything be like because then when you get like the hit in the face it's like oh it's over yeah. you know definitely a uh, duality right we we live in this world of duality kind of like the um asian traditions with the yin and yang so that's life that's, yeah mm -hmm. the yin and the yang represent while we as humans live in life yes. and an everyday experience nothing's easy nothing is easy listen people that are born with a lot of money i work for them let me tell you it's not easy either <laughs> it's a pain okay it's painful it's painful okay either just, way you have it or don't have it it's to live, the but they're still suffering through things let me tell you okay yes. and, and, yes. it's, and think about it like this the more you have the more empty you become you got to mm. be very careful with this. The more you have, it can create a, a lot of emptiness. Now, there's a difference between the more you have that you earned and you did it with hard work versus it's given to you. And you, hey, yeah. look at what I have. It's all given to me versus each one of these pieces. It's cost me like a, a year's worth. Another year right there. Three years over here. You know, like yeah. it's hard work. I, like I earned it, you know, so for me, it's a, it's a, there's also a, a difference, you know, for somebody that hasn't made, for somebody that's like really trying to like build it, you know? And so like, there's a fine balance too. So those people are not, because they have it easy, the, the picture is not different in that side. Just you know? life. It's life, man. And life is going to be life, meaning it's going to bring you all of it, all of it. It's how you take it. It's how you write it, you know? But I think that I want to say also, I want to, I want to say that without the veil of me drinking IPA every day, 
almost 10 months without a drop of alcohol, I feel that ever since that veil was taken off from me, I feel that now I'm connecting my dots. And I feel that, no, I know so, okay? Because before that, I was coming into the studio and making a bunch of mumble jumbo and it didn't get anywhere. And it just like sounded like a mess. And I'll come out there and I'm over it, overwhelmed, uh, underwhelmed, overwhelmed, all of it, frustrated, upset. I'm going to open another beer, make it better. <clears throat> so with that said, like for me, I feel that when the day that I woke up, when I really became woken, okay? Mm -hmm. When that day happened for me, it was on a Tuesday morning and I woke up, my face was all blotchy. My, 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 my forehead was all bloated. It was like a round. It was like, I was round. I, mm -hmm. in fact, I posted a picture from like weeks off of it. And then the picture from drinking and oh my goodness gracious. It yeah. was like, you can see like just round. Like, it was just bad, you know, it's swollen. I was swollen mm -hmm. and it, I, I just couldn't find my my way in my studio i have a studio couldn't find it it was so frustrating like i was ready to sell everything at one point i told my wife i said i'm done i can't do it no more i said i'm just gonna sell everything it was a really hard moment and i say i can't do it i don't have it in me i don't have it in me but i do have it in me that's the thing you know it's a thing I, I did. I do have it in me. I just, I was covering it. I was creating more anxiety with anxiety. I was creating anxiety with the beer. I was creating, I was creating, I had the perfect, you know how mold has to, has to have like the perfect environment to grow. Mm -hmm. That was, I was molding basically. Like I was molding. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, it's true, you know, yeah. and coming into the room and my beer not creating, I was like nothing yeah and then yeah. and then i started studying taking classes but i was still drinking but i was taking classes taking it all away, taking it all away. and then when i became clear-minded hmm, i couldn't create for three weeks i was empty there was nothing there it became depressing like oh my god i mean i'm done like what what's the point the lights dark in this room, spider webs, cow webs on the corner. It was bad. Like I didn't come in here. Like I was just like, nah, playing video games, trying to get my mind off things, you know? And then, uh, and then once the alcohol subsided, the, 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 that craving, the mental craving, cause that's the, that's the bad one. The gremlin brain, ah, four o'clock will come. And it's like, oh, let me look. Oh yeah. That's why four o'clock. Yeah. The craving of a beer. Like a star, a four. And yeah, little sure. by little, it starts turning into thoughts. Well, I'm just trying to do my work, you know? Yeah. yeah. So once I let that go, it was like three weeks of clearing mine. And then it was day and night difference. Yeah. It was like somebody had turned the lights. The lights. Okay. Yeah. The veil had been removed. Yeah. And next thing you know, I was creating song after song, finishing one after another. I have 12 songs completed, five in the works, two, two that I'm making with my little brother. And I'm teaching him now, bringing him into my label, Tribal Underworld, so he can be the next artist on my label. And, and it's just it's just been really, really eye opening without I, the alcohol. I love that. Tell us a little bit about that part. How has art help you with your healing journey? Because I think that's just like super important. Well, you know, again, like it's kept me busy mentally. Mm -hmm. I'm a person that needs a lot of stimulation in my mind. Yeah. I, um, I'm very hyperactive. I've just been like that since I was a little kid. Just always constantly have to have stimulation in my mind. So music, what, other sti what more stimulation can you get from making music and being in that moment? It's like, it's like just like I'm just in that moment, you know. It, it's clear. There's no anxiety. It's just doon 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 doon. Me making music. I think that I find peace. I find re I find like there's no anxiety. There's none of that. It's mm -hmm. it's all. It's just what's next. Like it's it's exciting. It's 
it's just elevating, you know? And I think that I like that. I like that a lot. That adrenaline rush, whatever that is, that's what I want. Like, and once you get a, a feel for that, I think that as an artist, once you get that feel, it's like, that's it. I'm going in. I'm going all in now. See, before mm -hmm. I was going all in with IPA, now I'm going all in with my music. Yeah. That's changed. And I think that without that art in my life, I would be in prison, dead, or lost in a street somewhere. I kid you not. Because yeah. that's how crazy I was. Mm -hmm. So I think that art is a way for me personally to keep me grounded, uh, focused, and away from trouble, you know? And it's just yeah. like nothing else matters, you know? I want to create a powerful thing. Yeah. Music. Music to me is where I reside. I'm not an artist. I'm not like that. I'm I'm a, I make music, you know. I like I sit there and I come up with little ideas. Now, I don't consider myself, oh, I'm the best, or this or that. No, no, none of that. I just look at it like, man, I'm so grateful. I am so happy and blessed that I was able to move forward from where I was and be in this time and moment in my life. And and just, I want to hang on to this. Like, I don't want, like my wife, I don't want to ever let go of her. You know, like, yeah. it's like always in my life, you know, like when you realize that you never want to let go of something, you're going to do everything. It's in your power to stay with that, you know, and maintain that. So art to me is my baby. It's like, it is what keeps me alive. It's what gives me, like everyday motivation, you know, mm -hmm. it's a motivation. It's very motivational. It's very, it's very different now, you know, like I, my motivation is not to come home and drink. My motivation is to, let's see, what, what can I do in my studio today? Mm -hmm. What is it need? Oh, it needs to be cleaned up because that's part of it too. We got to clean it up. Okay. Oh, oh, I'm going to create a loop from a sample that I remember from this day. It's, it's just like, it's all of it, you know? And mm -hmm. now again, with a clear mind, it's the signals are coming are much more, much more fine tuned and I yeah. can put it down on a song, you know, and that's to me when I go away one day into the next, whatever that is, the next place, I'm going to leave behind a catalog of music. Okay. And I'm going to make vinyl out of that. And that's going to be a piece of material solid that is going to be left behind to me. I'm, I will be eternal because yeah. of that and people That's are going to awesome. listen to those songs and go wow man this guy made this and he's no longer here with us to me that is beautiful like that's yeah. my goal like i want to leave now something that's that says you know i was here in the world music mm -hmm. records will do that you part now of of music of the musical spectrum of the world you know it's love amazing that. that's yeah, where i want that. that's what that's why i'm doing it you know yeah, that's the that's the the drive, you know, like you have to find that drive. Yeah. Why? What are you trying to do? What are you trying to leave? You know, be, my brother, just let me share something real quick. He would be like, I want to be famous. I want to make the most. But I'm like, no, 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 no. Like, get away from that. Like, no, no, you're that's uh, shh, blur. Like, that will give you blur. What you want to do is have purity in your when you're making music. Just be pure. Doug Martin, going back to him, he's a pure music producer. He is pure in his thoughts of producing. I've seen it firsthand. I've sat here, here in my studio. Thank you, Lord. I'll never take that for granted. He's my yeah. mentor. You know, he's a guy that I looked after since the 90s. And yeah, now, shout out to Doug Martin and the shout house Shout out music. to my man, Sub Level Yay. for life, okay? <laughs> yeah, me and my wife met at Sub Level because of him, okay? Hello. He connected yeah. all the dots for me. <laughs> And some people unfortunately don't have that, but you gotta find that. Find somebody that you look up to. Find somebody that yeah, you say, okay, I wanna, I want my art to be like that, or, or find something you know that you appreciate, you know that you can, you can say, I wanna be like him, you know, and not in the sense of like him, him, it's just like. Yeah, the the creation of the. A lot of politics in our scene, and good lord, there is. I'll tell mm -hmm. you. You know, you yeah. gotta like. Yeah, it's just everywhere. It's everywhere. <laughs> it's but just everywhere. 
but it's a but it's a pure like artist like that's what I strive to be you know nice like, nice I talk like it's just yeah. that's my way of we love him for sure yeah thank you, know. you no thank you thank you for sharing everything I think uh I hope our audience got some good gold nuggets from our conversation I think this was great it was an eye-opening art can be so many things it could be healing it could be a way of life it could be just that the creation process that will make you just a better human being and that's yeah. what we want what that's what we go for to be in a healthy mind body and spirit and and everything right so i think this this is just amazing and for everyone that wants to you know check out your new tunes and follow what you're doing where can they find you Oh my goodness. Well, you can type in Maximus Carnivorous and find me literally on Instagram, um, Spotify, Apple Tunes, everywhere, really. I'm, if you go to Instagram and do a video, you can probably find my songs if you just type in Maximus C and it'll yeah. come up. All my songs are there. Um, tribalontheworld.com. That's where I do a lot of my, I uh, sell a lot of my clothing. And then like right now it's a work in progress because I've been focusing on music. So it's like, I gotta do everything little by little, you know. I'm a one man show over here. Let me tell you. <laughs> yes, we share uh, that. on the world.com. <laughs> Thank you for the promotion. And I'm gonna send some people your way because I feel like you need to talk to some people that I, I feel that you guys appreciate are that. Really well, you know. Thank you, thank you. And, and I'm thank sure you for that the me, audience. The yeah, no, thank you, thank Shout you. Out. <laughs> <laughs> thank you. Shout out, yes, to the underground uh music scene, EDM for sure. It's been uh, amazing to you and amazing to me. And I think just art in general has got you where we both are in our, our lives. And uh, that's just amazing. Thank you, everyone, for listening today. I will put Max's uh, show uh, links and a website and everything so you guys can check him out. I will put uh, all my information. Remember, if you need to reach out to me or have any other question, you can find me at alexbalkin.com. You can find me on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, youtube and don't forget my book is out uh you can find it on barnes and nobles and amazon it's called parents are greatest teachers Get it. and Get that book yes <laughs> thank you everyone thank you everyone for listening thank and thank you max we'll see you ciao, then ciao. have everybody have a blessed day